Welcome to Beer League Bench Warmers podcast, recorded from a polo team bench where it's kind of smelly because of the horses. Today, we're talking about a few random things, including the Bills game, because we're all Bills simps. Jerseys, and, our, and what jerseys we have, and what jerseys we want, blah, blah, blah. And for some reason, Pokemon, because we like Pokemon, and we've been thinking about it lately. So, Bills game. How about that game? Thank I love Kyle. <laughs> That was a hell of a game. Yeah. Jake, you stopped. Apparently, yeah. you you were nervous during it, Jake. Oh yeah. I mean, I was the first game, the wild card game against the Colts. I was so strung up, like through the entirety of it. That was In this was game. Fun. I was like two hours before. I was just anxiety was through the roof. But then once Lamar got knocked out, I was able to to level off and. I was fine, but yeah, before that happened, which I think was third or fourth quarter, definitely second third half. Third quarter, yeah. Yeah. First half, it, I mean, that was a very close game, the first half. Apparently so, it was windy. I didn't, I actually didn't watch it. I watched the highlights. Yeah, freaking Justin Tucker, one of the most clutch kickers in, in league history, doinked two kicks. Doink. Doink. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, Bass missed too as well, but he's a rookie. <laughs> I like that pick so, six. That was that, that was, was nice. crazy. That was that was great I didn't, to come out with it. I didn't think he was gonna go all the way at first. I'm like, oh shoot. What do you think goes through their mind when they catch the ball in the end zone? Are they just like just Run. go no matter what? Or are they like <laughs> shit, I, shit, shit. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Uh-huh. That's where uh-huh. I would I was, be panicking. I would be like, do I kneel? Do I not? And I'd be like half kneeling and stuff. I would <laughs> love to see Kyle in that situation. Just knowing his hockey <laughs> I would yeah. see you in that situation. No, oh, that would be bad. But that's why no, I, did. I didn't think he was going to get in until I saw Tredavious White lead the blocks. Because all he had to do was block Lamar pretty well, much. Lamar, yep. Once he got past him, like you guys were, we were the fastest guys left. So, so defense yeah. scored as many touchdowns as the offense. Yep. It's pretty cool. Scored more than the opposing team as well. Yeah. yeah. So they didn't even score a touchdown. No, nope. boom! Take that, boom! Enemies, Mike. That was definitely. So who, <laughs> who are they facing next next uh, week? Kansas City. Ooh. Now the question. Perennial powerhouse. The question is: Is, is Mahomes going to play? play? He's got a concussion. He's got a clear concussion protocol. Is he going to be able That's... to do it? I didn't see the play. I didn't either. And so, like, I just, I was. On the bench in my actual hockey game, and here warming I am it. Our polo game apparently was your um, was your rear section warming the bench. It actually was a third period. I, yeah. I got I got jumped in line to go back out on the rink, and I was I was pretty bummed. But uh, anyways, <laughs> the refs were talent updating us on the game. They're just like, "Yep, yeah, Mahomes got a concussion. He's out." Did Chad Henne had to play? So he who's threw, Mahomes? That he interception threw a pick was in the end horrible. Zone. Yep. The last good Michigan quarterback. Can you guys hear that? Yeah, it sounds like you kidnapped a little child and they're asking for help. Uh, no. Oh. Nope. That's not, what, that's not what's happening. Uh, who's Mahomes? Quarterback for the Chiefs. Okay. The one that's already touted as the greatest ever and he's only played three years. Pretty cool. Well, pretty Have cool. Have you ever seen the State, Far- State Farm commercials, Kyle? I don't watch ads. I try not to watch ads. I hate They're ads. I'm avoid. anti-corporate. Everybody wants to suck him off so much. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> He's He's telling, a, I should not say that. It's completely true. He's telling the woman I, that maybe, maybe if tickets are $16. No, I'm talking like announcers and analysts oh, yeah. and other teams. They latch on to he's talent because next they... generation Tom Brady, where even if he's not playing, they still talk about it and fucking rub one off to him. Well, they know a lot of the casual fans probably latch on to a few few names that they know, and so it's really easy if you know. I mean, he's good and he's super rich. Just signed a what five hundred million dollar contract and yeah. immediately became a part owner of the Kansas City Royals baseball team. He's like, I mean, fifty million he's a year. Set up like he's great, but. I don't need to hear about him when I'm not even playing the Kansas City Chiefs. It'll be interesting here next year when the the 
uh, salary cap drops after he's making all this money now? Like, who who else is going to get paid on this team now? Right. <laughs> they're, already, yeah. they're already talking. The one, the big defensive end that they have has been he was uh, he was franchise tag last year, and you, know, you have yeah, you have all these other guys like uh, Matthew and. Sammy Watkins is going to be gone and Tyreek Hill's going to need to get paid. You have Travis Kelsey, who's supposed, you know, considered the greatest tight end in football right now. He's when's he going to get paid now? He's, he's not even he just, a tight end. He did. He's he just got paid really last year. Receiver. Huh? Kelsey just got paid last year. Yeah. yeah. He's locked up. Hey, I didn't know the salary cap was dropping. Kill. Yeah, it's dropping for next year. How much? Uh, I don't know. The $2. That's going to devastate some teams. They're going to lose so many players. That's uh, that's interesting. I wonder, is it because of COVID or just because? I'm sure COVID played a factor if it's just revenue coming back to the teams. Yeah, probably. probably. I'm not sure why. They should put ads on the helmets. They should. <laughs> they look great they should, right now. They should put ads on the goalposts. There was a team that their, their ads were just way too big. And it's like, ah, this is the KHL. I, I couldn't even tell you who it was, but it was just like. But Do you remember you, the ad? I digress. No, I don't. Didn't oh, then it wasn't big enough. <laughs> it wasn't big enough. You're absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Bills play next week. Uh, this game, was this an easy game? I don't even know. It seemed like by the score it was, but. They didn't. I don't think that they played as well as they could have. I mean, running what they had 30 something yards rushing in that game they didn't give it to the running back until the third quarter yeah like they didn't run it at all um was it easy i wouldn't say it's easy it was easy the defense bill's defense played amazing i got worried Um, in the beginning of the game when like the first six plays for baltimore was all run plays i'm like oh my god they can't stop it like and that was the first thing i said coming into the game last night i'm like they that run game, it's, we got it. It's going to be huge if they can't stop that run game and couldn't do it. I'm like, oh no, it's going to be a rough game, but this is how it's going to go. And then they tightened up. They really did. And then what Allen finished with like 210 yards or 206 yards and Diggs had half of them. He had 200 some odd passing yards. Yeah. But then yeah, he had another passing, yeah. some odd rushing. But yeah. I mean, Lamar Jackson averages over six yards a carry in his career. In the two games against the Bills, he averages less than three and a half, I think. I saw. Oh, shit. Boom. I so, like, they they played him last year, and that was his worst game. <laughs> and, then, and, he, and he won the MVP last year, too. So, take that with whatever you want to say. But uh, even this game, even before he went out, they, they had his number. Yeah, I don't – I'm not scared of Lamar. Like, they aren't a team to come back in games. They're a no, team that they need to lead. Yeah, he's he's a more athletic Tim Tebow. That's that's the way I look at him. <clears throat> but it was an easier game. I wouldn't say it's easier, but once they had the pick six, oh to yeah, go up seventeen to three, game was over. I knew I was very confident. Even when Huntley was driving down, it's like all right, you know, we're, they're what? just in the D. Was- but then he missed. Oh man, there was a fourth down play where he had Hollywood Brown. Yeah, wide open right deep. over his head. Touchdown. It's like, oh my heart like tightened up. I was like, oh no, if they got that, they were back in the game. But then he overthrew. There was a lot of overthrows. I don't know if that was the win that hit a factor in that for sure. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, don't even uh, remember Alan, being that windy. Allen definitely yes. overthrew digs a few times too. So how we live. You know, 50 I miles guess it away, is. too. Yeah, that's true. It's not in Buffalo. As many shots as they show of oh Buffalo, God. it's still not even – they don't show Orchard Park because oh. there's nothing to see in Orchard that, Park except the stadium. And that's still my favorite yeah. thing that they do, too. That, that show mm. the, Niagara Falls. the Falls. <laughs> that's nowhere yeah. near the Bills Stadium. Falls and then chicken wings. Chicken wings. They showed pizza before the chicken wings. Really? Oh, yeah, it was a Bills. Only because it was, yeah, in the in shape the Bills of logo. the Bill's logo. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah, ch- chicken wing shot, anchor bar shot, and Niagara Falls shot are just easy, easy bets. It man. was it was cool, all though, the, seeing All them. the Bills fans of Niagara Falls watching yeah. the game. Well, I mean, <laughs> probably are. Yeah. There's At Niagara there. Falls? Probably. There's bars yeah. and casinos. That's fair. Yeah. Casino. Okay. Um, that is true. I was uh, Arkell's Bills fans. Just yep. saying, they're 
North yep. of the border. They're Woo. from Hamilton. A lot of, a lot of Bills sure. fans from just across the border. Dan, Dan, Daniel yeah. Ricardo from Australia. Oh, yeah. He's a race car driver. Yeah. I, I think I saw a Twitter picture of him. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Damn, I don't know how uh, he became a Bills fan, but your, being from Australia. Your boy there, Logan him. Couture. Yep, big time Bills fan, Logan Couture. Love, they're the lovable losers. How, I mean, how could you hate him? Lamar Jackson gets hurt. He gets a concussion. He gets knocks out of the game with a quarter and a half left. And because he gets knocked out money. of the game, the Bills donate him money. Yeah. Like in <laughs> less than that. a day, they raised 150000 over 150000 for his charity. Yeah. I mean, wow. They've done that. Like that's just one of many examples of yeah. the Bills fans. I know everybody says that that we're crazy and reckless. But well, we are. Like we still tables. have a heart. We're, while we're in midair we're jumping through a table, we're donating yeah. money. We pay for ah, it. Send it. Make yeah. it rain. <laughs> Make <Yeah>. it rain. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, yeah, it's it's a lot more fun to fly through a table if there's a bunch of money on it. I have a question though. Uh, so. What was this Huntley that took over for Lamar? What happened to RG three? Hurt. He, he's hurt too. Hurt. Yeah, RG three was hurt, and Trace McSorley was hurt. That's so Huntley the was their fourth string quarterback. Oh, yeah, they signed him off the practice squad. Wow. Yep. Yeah, I think might have even finished with more passing yards than Lamar did because Lamar sucks. He started <laughs> driving there. Yeah, but I mean, they're in preventing. Too too give late. up the. Eight yard gain, wasted twenty seconds each play. Yep, just let it, let him go. Too little, too late at that point. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was way more confident in that game than I was in the Colts game. Colts game, I was, I was sweating bullets. I mean, I was sweating bullets this last game, but that was because I had my hoodie on and I was hot. But we were winning, so I didn't want to. Take it off. I yelled at my dog when she got up. I was like, "No, you lay your ass back on that couch." You're really that superstitious. He walked away. I hey, didn't let Rachel go to bed. You never know. Could be any little thing. Yeah, for sure. Right. Okay. She, all right. We'll, she, have, we'll have a talk about superstition. <laughs> she had a blanket over both her shoulders oh. and for the whole game. We we're winning. Then oh. she got up, got ice cream, and Blank was only over one shoulder. And it, because it was only one, over one shoulder, we didn't. We had to punt it away. Oh, Ran my up. God. The butterfly it effect in action. Her. It's her problem. That's was, crazy. I, I yelled at her. We got the divorce wow. papers in the mail. Was somebody like watching through the through the window, noting changes, and if they did, they'd call up the bills and be like, "Throw this play." Well, the helmets they have mics. Ah, okay. Yeah, so they just and all of our houses are bugged. <laughs> okay. And there's spy cameras I'm, outside too. I'm almost disappointed you don't know this guy. With the birds. I, I guess I gotta learn more about this. This, this sounds slightly dystopian. NFL is big brother. Maybe I'll become superstitious now. I'm actually very, like I, I'm more superstitious than I thought it was. I never thought I was, and then like there's certain things where it's like I do, even if when I play hockey, I was like not shaving my right shin guard over my left. Yes, I do that. It's really that's just more or less an excuse to be lazy. No, that's true. Yeah. I mean, this is not. This is just pure laziness right here. Don't you like oil it twice a day or something? Huh? Don't you like condition it and oil it or something? I, I do that, yeah. That'd be after my that shower. Doesn't sound lazy. Well, no, but I also <laughs> don't want it to be gross. I don't want it to look like pubes on my face. Controlled day. laziness, then. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Shut up, I, bro. <laughs> what? Oh Kyle yeah, my hair is awful. With a K. <laughs> Kyle with a K. Yeah, it's not with a C. It's, it's got a K. I don't know. Do you know the C? I don't know, actually. I don't think I've ever even seen it spelled that way. But you never know. There's always that one time. Yeah. All right. So, do you think what time do they play next week, actually? I actually don't know that. 6.40. Is it Sunday, Sunday you're playing? Yeah, Ooh. Sunday. They get, an, they get an extra day. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm already calling in on Monday. Are you? <laughs> I'll be on days, so I don't want to wake up early. After I'm sure he won't be the only or, one. Uh, yep, 6:40 is the game next week. Enthusiastic win. Monday is going to be a decisive day for a lot of people. CBS. Tony Romo. Tony Romo and Jim Nance. Nice. They. Okay. I hate. I've like learned to just hate commentary. 
Like I could get, you know, I know what grinds my gears. You can do a whole second segment of that. Like I hate sports commentary. Like literally they use the phrase and I'm not even like paraphrase. This is exactly what they said. He has the escapability to escape. <laughs> like that's just a stupid that, choice that, of words. Was that Collinsworth that said yeah. that? Well, He's talking about like, Lamar Jackson. That's it's like, just a dumb Collinsworth is being. But dumb. they all are. They all are terrible. <laughs> Especially There's, the color commentaries. It's like, oh, what, yeah. what are you talking about? A- Aikman is rough. Probably the only one that's any good is Romo because he actually. Romo was good, but he has fallen it to victim to the color commentary. Oh, yeah. Well, it's like my Dak Prescott got hurt and broke his leg. Let's just hope it's a cramp. Uh, Romo, his leg is facing yeah. the other way. I don't think his... It's a, the, the Saints game. Like, right? Oh, I, want, I wonder if it's a neutral zone infraction or a false start. It's like, well, he didn't go in the neutral zone, so it's really a false start. Like, you should know this stuff. Like, I'm just a stupid Joe Schmo. You're one that's making six figures, if not seven figures, and should know this shit. They, they, get, they get paid to be there, but they probably don't want to be there all the time. And give me seven figures. I'll be there <laughs> all the time, and I'll love it. So I'll, what, is, what was Tony Romo's contract? Wasn't it like it was huge? Ten years for like forty million dollars or something crazy. Jesus. Yeah, he's getting paid pretty much and, more than when he was playing. Yeah, and each year it goes up. There was That's a bidding insane. war for him. Yeah. What other sport is he going to commentate for? And that'll but, be it. Just it, yeah, but it'd be networks. Networks, yeah, networks. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, yes, NBC, CBS, Fox, ESPN. ESPN yeah. Nickelodeon at some point. Yo, that was fun. I don't care. I enjoyed that. Yeah, well, enjoy it. Don't, it ain't going to last because good old Cordero Patterson. Fuck! On live yeah, Nickelodeon. There's, TV. A couple, there's a little bit of swearing. There are a couple people that were swearing on it. There's, just, there's no fans, so you can hear everything that they're saying yeah. on the field. Exactly. And the shows that they have on now on Nickelodeon is like Nicktoons or whatever. Not Nicktoons, uh, Teen Nick. They, they talk about stuff like that. You know, they used to have the grassy with drugs and sex and shit. Oh, not Nick. Back when Drake was in a wheelchair. This is a crazy show. Um, I recall a TV show about the NFL. Like, there were like robots or something themed after teams and they would fight people in football game type shenanigans i never really watched it so i could be having a lot of details what fucking wrong. drugs are you on <laughs> i <laughs> it was I, it was a cartoon and it was like propaganda for the nfl it was really weird do you remember the rugrat football episode no can't say oh they were watching they were watching football, and half the parents had cowboy shirts on. The other half had Houston Oilers shirts on. Then the babies were playing football. They were all t- the football though was a bottle of chocolate milk. They were oh. all trying to get the bottle of chocolate milk. It was rugged. This is like <laughs> the first or second season of Rugrats. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember that. Rugrats had a lot of sexual innuendos. I like Rugrats. Well, my, fav- great. my favorite episodes that I learned later in life about when. Tommy's dad is sleepwalking or whatever, and he's in the kitchen and he's just like cooking or doing whatever. And he's like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I'm oh. like, that's, that's a great thing to have. I'm not getting oh. yeah, as What's a like, kid, you're like, ha ha ha, loser. And then as a <laughs> like, like, he's can... cracking eggs. And now it's like, oh, I can relate to him. Well, it's like <laughs> Rocco's modern life. He was a sex phone operator. Yeah. I remember the seat, the episode where he's like, "Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby," on the phone. <laughs> um, there was like, a, it was so much shit back in the nineties. There's a that one episode where he's going to the gym, and he's oh, uh, yeah. in the background, the no, the noise and everything is music and background noise from a porno. Hey Arnold, is it the gym? The title scene, there, the moans in the background from at the gym were from a porno. By the way fans of this podcast we're gonna do an only fans no we're not uh, <laughs> yes we are we, have ready. we want to find out what kind of porno kyle watches yeah that's gonna be we're we trying to figure well, out for years let's let's change the subject before we get too risky <laughs> um, every time yep I'm not gonna tell you on a freaking podcast anyway that's no, our only fans. You yeah you don't even tell us off the podcast so when would you tell us when you're what watching you your football cartoon yeah. war, 
show thing? Yeah, if you can find that. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to promise anything. Um, if, you, if you can find that TV show, I would be interested, though. So to get, oh, yeah, back, sure. on, to get back on track, I was kind of surprised <laughs> on how loud it was in the stadium last night. Oh, it was loud as shit. It was pretty intense. I'm like, holy cow. There was the one video where the camera angle, it was of the pick six of, from the back of the end, end zone. And it's not like network or anything like that. So it's just nothing but the fans. It is so loud. Is it still the same amount, 6,700 people? Yes. Yeah. Not at Kansas City. Holy shit. Did you watch no, that game? They do. But they like, started the season, they were doing like 17,000 people. That was, at the beginning. that was a shit ton of people. Like, there are some game or some teams where I'm watching, like, literally, you have rows of people all the way down, gap, rows of people all the way down, gap, rows. Kansas City is a poof. Like, it, it looked like a normal, a normal Jacksonville Jaguars game. I'll put it that way. Like, it, it, there was no set social distancing that I could tell. And they were from top to bottom, upper bowl. Yeah, they have a lot of people that go to these games. They, that's the one thing that I didn't understand with the Bills. It's like, all right, if you can have the lower bowl, why can't you have the I top bowl? the top or upper, yeah. yeah. But uh, to me, that was just – Pagulas didn't want to – The crowds aren't just that's there, too. they got to reduce crowds. Talking. Sorry. Let's go. Continue. Continue. What's so important? I was just don't want making... to talk to your porno, but you'll interrupt me. Yep, making some uneducated guesses that uh, they they want to reduce the crowds at the beginning and like at the bathrooms and stuff and uh, concessions. But if you're separated by the lower bowl and top bowl, like there's no, it's not just bathrooms in the lower bowl or concessions in just the lower bowl. Like Sabres games, that's like saying you can only have fans in the hundred level, but you can't have them in three hundred. Okay, yeah, I don't know. Maybe to me, like I said, to me it was so. just that the, they didn't want to pay the workers to pay the concession stands and security and all of that. Probably, yeah. You could, if you can do the lower bowl safely, then you absolutely could have done the, the upper bowl safely too. Upper bowl, top like bowl, that. whatever you want. Those bleeds. Well, that'll all depend on what the regulations are, what Cuomo's allowing for, for that kind of thing. I don't know what he's determining or not. Right, but it was also an agreement between Cuomo and the Pagulas. So the Pagulas can be like, listen, just give us a lower ball. They'll be happy. It, to me, too, was probably let's just do it to where it only includes season tickets and we don't have to do general public. Yeah. Right. Mm. Can kind of wean out, not the riffraff, but the ability to for people to be selling their tickles. Tick, riff riff tickles. Patty. Tickles. <laughs> Those tickling tickles. Tick, tickling riffraffs. Um, yeah. Sorry, Sean. No, it's okay. <laughs> we derailed you so hard. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's how I think. It was It was a business decision, not a health decision. And it, it makes the games more exciting on TV and stuff, too, than having the cardboard behind. Yeah, uh, Bills didn't even do that. Oh, okay. It's just empty stadium. Speaking of cardboard, are you guys going to buy Sabres cardboard cutouts? No. Nah. <clears throat> oh, like you can pay to have your, your person in the stadium? Yep. 60 bucks. That's how much it is. I was curious. I was going to look into it just to see. But... Is that for the year? Better be for the year. No, one game. That's all you get. They change you can get it back at the end of the year or whatever. Heck with that. Absurd. I know you can do like during the commercial breaks. You see like the fans. Yeah, I was curious how they do that. You can do that for free. Is that like a bunch of video screens? Yeah, yeah, like a collage of video screens, and there's a bunch of people. Let's go Buffalo! Woo! I five hundred people. Ah. When uh, like you just have to send in a thirty second clip that doesn't have profanity, sexual, you know, all that, you know. Oh. Like that. Okay. But, and they're they just were, like, send us 30 seconds and we'll pick the best ones and it might make it to TV. Yeah. They were doing it last night for the Bills game and the Bills scored the touchdown and they panned to that and all the Bills fans are all just like. Oh, a lot of those were like live. Same yeah. thing with the uh, World Juniors. Those are live. Yeah, and it was I mean, so it was, delayed where it's it oh, so bad. It's the game fans. Oh, no, oh, yeah. yeah, and it's then it cuts away like instantly. Like saying. you get literally a second before it yeah. actually – it was so delayed. That's why the one thing I think the Sabres are doing right is, yeah, just have a preset yeah, that's celebration. A I like that one. I Especially like if you're the Sabres, ball. you're not going to be celebrating a lot, so got to pretend it. Yeah. 
And then they yeah, have some. We didn't get scored on. Wow! And they have some other hockey promotion thing going on, like how they used to do like the family packs. And it's like a family pack at home or something now. I was curious about that one too. I didn't hear that. That sounds absolutely stupid. It's like you get t shirts and like merchandise and stuff. Like a loot box full of saber stuff. Or is it not random? I'm sure it's probably preset. I'm sure it's like the same. <laughs> if all four of us got that bundle, I bet you all four of us would get the same exact stuff. I got the legendary jersey last time I did it. You motherfucker. <laughs> Speaking of the, jerseys, that's a good transition. Yeah. Jerseys. Sorry, we kind of got off. Oh, Whatever. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> jerseys. I have not had a lot of jerseys. Uh, I've, I, yeah. But I feel like you guys have. I know Jake has so had Jake, a Jake's lot got of a pretty, mill. pretty epic jersey. So, I have the most. You guys probably got the most. Uh, nope. Sean, then you might have more. I don't think that. Like to- them up? <laughs> total jerseys? That's yeah, let's say total jerseys, including oh, football. Yeah, what you got like, I mean, you're the only one with a tape jersey. My duct tape jersey after yeah. that. Ah. Oh. <laughs> was it smelly? I would be so excited to see that. Oh, no, it was a little was jersey smelly. just made out of duct tape. That's it. Yeah, it was a Henrik Talinder Buffalo Sabres jersey. Straight duct tape. It took uh, 12 Pretty rolls sick. of duct tape to make it. It was, not, it was not wearable. Aww. So I mean, if your arms just stuck out straight like this. You couldn't really bend it. <laughs> Give it's like armor. Arms now. Yeah. Really bad armor. Yeah, really bad armor. But, that, that's good though. Why did you? Huh? Why did you make one out of duct tape just for fun? Uh, he's the duct was, tape master. Yeah, why did you? I oh. was doing a lot of duct tape art, and I'm in the duct tape hall of fame. Really? So, yeah, it's one of my pieces. Duct What's in the duct? What, that's the how he jersey? got this girl. Hey, I'm in the duct tape hall of fame. I'm gonna suck my dick. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's YouTube safe. Edit that out. Ah, leave <laughs> it in. Out. All right, leave it in. I don't know. I, I haven't read the terms of service. Yeah, just put it under mature audiences. Hmm. Oh, every episode is. Yeah, Perfect. if they if they cut it off, then just then make an edited one and put it out. I mean, like you gotta have you have podcasts. Like, I mean, uh, Pat McAfee. That's this is not rated G, right? McAfee isn't that like the virus software? God damn it, Kyle! Yes, <laughs> Kyle. But it's why does he do a podcast? Last I love <laughs> <laughs> that you'll say something and then just all three of us are just so silent. <laughs> it's just like, God damn it! Mm-hmm. You're yeah, not wrong. More. But you're have not. Have you guys right. seen streamers? You have to have way over the top reactions. You don't actually have to. But, anyways, uh, just what are you in? Uh, yeah, what are you in the, the 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 Hall of Fame of duct tape for? Just for stuff that I made. Uh, this, I mean, it was really kind of a stupid deal because anybody could do anything with duct tape and it'll get them points to get in. Like, I make I make that Sabres jersey. Okay, it took me twelve hours, twelve rolls of duct tape, uh, and it got me the same amount of points as a person who in legit in the description, they just took regular duct tape and tape like they, they covered a pair of shorts with it. So they had a pair of khaki shorts that was covered in silver duct tape and they got 50 points, just like my 12 roll <laughs> Buffalo Saber Henrik Talinder Jersey. But so your story's was, better. Yes. My story is much better, but I made that. Uh, I made a really sweet piggy bank. Um, I did a, uh, it was cool. It was a piggy bank. He was pink. It was awesome. Big fat pig. Um, I made, uh, I have it all on my Facebook, all the pictures, everything I made. I have a, uh, Jack Skellington, like head, it's just his head, but I made that. So I was in the tall thing. Very cool. Yeah. So you I just gotta... Accumulate points and get in, if you have enough points, you get in the hall of fame. Yeah. I forgot how many points it was, but I mean, I got, they sent me a bat that had 12 rolls of duct tape in it, a t-shirt, everything else, other stuff. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I didn't know that. Do you get like a so card you... or something? Like a membership card? Uh, wow, that would been cool. Like you go to the bar, some hot bartender, and you hand it to Oh, sorry, I thought that was my ID. That was my Hall of Fame card, and you slide it back. 
And well, then you go to the bathroom and you get your duck sick. So or dick sick. Duck sick. <laughs> you're duck sick. You're duck sick. Oh man. You're talking about talking about duck, duck tape. tape. Duck tape, duck sick, dick sucked. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so that's right. who's got some other some other cool stories too? Uh my jersey. I mean, I got some some nice jerseys I like. Honestly, my favorite jersey that is in this household is probably not even mine. I paid for it, but it's not for me. It's uh no, I do like that one. That one. Yeah, that one. Uh, <laughs> gotta like really work the mirror. Uh, it's game worn signed jersey for Buffalo Bandits military appreciation night. No, I uh, I have a USA Zach Prize jersey, and oh, yeah. I love that one. Yep, no ads on it at all. Oh, excuse me, but that's Rachel's. I got it because he's hot, according to her. So she wanted his jersey. You guys have like, I, I have lots of Jason Pomville jerseys. Hot. Speaking of me, I'd suck his dick so dry. Do they do the thing? Do you guys do the thing where if, if a celebrity presents themselves, like you guys get a certain list of celebrities that if you get the chance, you get to have an affair with them without any penalties? Oh, just the a, list. Yeah. You have a list. Yeah. It's just called the list. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. We haven't discussed it, but Palmville just get raped. I mean, hmm. sorry, I met him once at Dave and Adams, and he's got a package. He's got a whole. Uh, package. Sorry, trying to do over the top reaction. Are you under arrest or something, Rick? I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> there is no light flickering in here, but yes, it's flashing. I'm the one talking about raping. He's getting arrested. He, um, I don't know why it's doing that. But uh, no, I got, I'm trying to have a collection of all the Palmville jerseys. I have most jerseys. A couple need uh, nameplates on them still, but uh, there's like two that I'm missing. The 07 alternates, those navy blue with the logo on it. When Drury got crushed by Chris Neal and started the Ottawa Brawl. And then the 2006 Winter Class, if I need. Nice. You could do a timeline on your wall of like, this is Jason Pominville's jerseys through history and have them all in order. With You're like not going to get that sweet, that super sweet Bills one. <laughs> I was, is that in order chronologically no order? it's not it's just you gotta have like a line underneath and have the years written down and what no, teams no, no. And autographed details. autographed Ooh. just probably one of the sexiest jerseys i think are available where the green oh the wild one yeah. green wild jersey yeah i love those jerseys just thinking of sexy jerseys, like the there's like big holes where the nipples are and stuff. I don't know what would be sexy jersey, <laughs> skin tight. <laughs> and I got nothing to do in this one. <laughs> no, you don't. You, that's just, fine. Just keep it. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's pretty much my jerseys. I got a uh, as far as Bill jerseys go, I got a Robert Woods and a uh, Micah Hyde. Um, Rachel's got a Fred Jackson. And a, I think Sammy Watkins, I think. But uh, and then we got a few Bandits jerseys, and a bunch of Sabers. I right. think you got you got me in jersey count. I have jerseys that I forgot about. Like I have Jordan Leopold jersey. I only got that because it was like eighty percent off during the, the lockout shortened season. And it's like it's either him or like Gergensen's, and I'm just like ah, who, I don't know who this guy because that was his rookie year. And I was like, I kind of have to get a jersey. They're dirt cheap. Yeah. So I got Jordan Leopold. Got a, a Ryan Miller jersey. For like 30 bucks at the Dave and Adams closing event. Yeah, I got that's, that too. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the best goalies of franchise history. So that was super cheap. And then we got a Tyler Myers. And it's like, I don't even know when we got a Tyler Myers jersey. We have one. I don't <laughs> know whose it is. But we have one. I, I forgot. I'm going to. I'm going to have to make a list of all the ones that I got. I mean, I have, I think I have seven or eight San Jose Sharks jerseys. Uh, Sabres, yeah, I think you have us beat. I think you Sabres, have. Yeah, Sabres, I know I have around the same 
seven or eight. I have three jerseys for Indomic and Sue. Uh, I have uh, two Deacon Jones jerseys. I have uh, Trey White, and I got his jersey. You really? I got a Simone Gagne jersey. Uh, I've got a, a random. I've got some random ones like that. I've got that one. I have a blank Rangers jersey. I have Owen Nolan's Wild jersey. I have his Sharks jersey. I have Archer's Urbe Shark jersey. I have a Kobe Armstrong Toronto Maple Leafs jersey. Uh, <laughs> like ten games for them. Uh, who else do I have? I got a lot of goofy ones. Like yeah, you got us beat. beat. I only have I'm gonna have to actually make a list. I even had like baseball jerseys. I got. Uh, I got that trout one that you guys one. got me for Christmas. I got another Angels one that they did. Uh, the MLB did this goofy turn back the clock deal or turn ahead the clock deal in like the 90s. I have, I don't know, I couldn't tell you the player's name, but it's an Angels player and it's autographed. So I got that. Uh, I got another baseball jersey. I forgot. I have one baseball jersey and that's Brett Gardner. I got, Ooh, I got it. I don't have a baseball jersey at all. No, you fucking loser. Really? You used to play baseball. Yeah. Well, oh. never had a baseball jersey. <laughs> the jerseys that are they're given to you in the leagues don't count. Oh, it wasn't a jersey well, when you played baseball. It was a no, jersey. I mean, like, I figured you were a pretty big fan. I am a big fan, but I don't have a, a baseball jersey because <laughs> all the baseball jerseys I ever see that are for sale that are Yankees aren't awesome. You have a name ones. on the back. I don't, it's, I don't want that. I'm not going to yeah, spend they, my money and get one that says number 99, Aaron Judge, or number two, Derek Jeter. Honestly, the best, on the, back. the best thing for you to do for the Yankees, because they because it'd be easier, is if you just get a blank up tape the blank replica one, because then it's cheap, it's blank, and then you could just get a just number, get number on, on it. Yep. Yep. You don't even need to get a number on it. Yeah, right? Just have the little logo. I mean, that's the thing with jerseys. It's, it's tough. Because, I mean, like, I got all these pound I have a Jordan Leopold jersey. What's that gonna? I mean, he's not a memorable member of the franchise. I have, I have a couple of questions. Like, uh, what what does a player have to do to be like a buyable jersey? Does it just if you like the Play. player? Yeah, they're in yeah, the just, league, dude. Yeah. I had for I the had, most part. Yeah, like you're not gonna go out and find a CJ Smith j- Savers jersey, really. I had when I was in fifth grade. That's his family. Yeah, when I was in fifth grade, uh, I was somebody bought me a Bubby Brister jersey. If you don't know who Bubby Brister is, he was the backup quarterback for the Denver Broncos after John Elway left. So he wasn't even the starter after Elway left, and he was the number six Bubby Brister. I was probably the only person other than his family to have a Bubby Brister jersey. (laughs) Have have the jersey? Probably not. Are they collectors? No, that's no. Cause that was no, still I mean, like, like for jerseys in general, like, is there, is oh, there people yeah. out there who are like, oh, yeah. I want to have all of the people from this team throughout history. I mean, that'd be tough, but. Uh, yeah. I mean, like that would be near impossible. Okay. Certainly then how about all of the, all of the jerseys from this particular player or all the jerseys from this one year where they won the big prize that, thing. That's what Jake's doing. Yeah, I know. So there are collectors. So you might be able to find someday somebody. I'm one of those like, idiots. I want his Rochester jersey. I want his juniors jersey. <laughs> like, I want his all. Oh, that's another one. I need his all star jerseys. 2007 all star jersey. I want. Yeah, the white ones. What about a practice jersey? A used practice yeah. practice jersey. They're out there. Yeah, yeah. those would be easy to find off eBay. Or not. I'm still working on my Sioux jersey collection. I need two more, three more now. I still have to go to Sorrentino's and get plates on a couple of mine. Plates? Yeah, you can get like blank jerseys and get and then get name plates and numbers put on at a later time. Yeah, a lot of times really that's good. a a lot of times that's a cheaper avenue. Yeah. It's not super authentic, but half yeah. my jerseys are from China anyway, so they're not super authentic anyways. <laughs> okay. What are you talking about? They're all legit. <laughs> I mean, all gonna say. You uh, you take it to an antique road show a few years down the line, it'll be like <laughs> legit or a sports appraiser, a more likely, I guess. I think I there are send it into PSA and get get it get it graded. 
This jersey right here is you, the only time you would get it. You'd sell a jersey and actually make money on it is if it's signed, and then have you have to you would have to have the letter of authenticity. Yeah. Okay. Which sends it to like a which the few times i've done it i don't even get the letter because like i'm not getting i don't care no. yeah, i mean i've gotten it something. but yeah i just well even i mean when you go to david adams they don't give you a letter they just give that little sticker no they, the give, you a, they give you a letter yeah a letter too they give you I've a not... sticker that goes on the memorabilia and then a letter that has the same sticker on it Ooh. So i've never gotten a letter i've just gotten like this little tiny cardboard that was it it was like okay, almost that's... like a trading card yeah, that's the that's the letter. That's that's the letter. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, I threw that's... mine all out because I don't care. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it. I got my one jersey that's got like <laughs> 15, 20 autographs on it. I think I have seven Jason Poundville autographs. It's not bad. Just nice. one person. <laughs> why are you such a? What, what? Why are you still such a huge Poundville fan? Like, why did you? Why, why did, did you I? One? Because all right, for one, I liked him way before he scored the Ottawa goal. After yeah. the Ottawa goal. As happy as I was because he was my guy, it pissed me off because everybody, everybody was on the bandwagon. But I liked him way before. And it was mainly because at that time, he was a third-line rookie, but he was doing everything good. Not great, not amazing, but he was doing it good. He was a t- nice two-way forward. He could score goals. He could pass the puck, play penalty kill, play power play. He could really do it all. He couldn't do it all amazing or at an elite level. But he was as he was above average at everything, and that's what I liked about him. Is that get that time? League. Nah, no, you tired. Yeah, he was in the same boat as Thomas Vanek was last deadline, where basically it was if nobody calls us by the deadline, we're done, okay. and nobody called him. But uh, yeah, I I just it was the same reason why I like Dumont. They're they're both just very good. They're very good at just being good. And that's, I didn't, I never liked the same, like right now, even though I'm wearing a Jack Eichel sweater, I don't like, I would never jump on the Eichel bandwagon. My, my daughter's got a jersey, and that's fine. But like, he will never be my favorite player because he's everybody's favorite player. Yep. You can't go to a game without seeing half the arena, which is not that many people, even before the pandemic, in Eichel jerseys. I, I don't like liking the top guy. That's just okay. the way I am. It's like I don't get it. I, yeah, I, it's too it's too cool. Yeah. Like I won't get a Josh Allen jersey. I got a Micah Hyde jersey. Like he's just a safety who is very overlooked, just like all safeties are that aren't named Troy Palomalu. See, so like the little guys. Yeah, that are, that are good. They're okay. good. Not not great. Not amazing. You like, you like the guys that, that are under the radar, but still. Yeah. You're yeah. going to call up and the guy score, and be like, hey, could you only... be a little less great? I need you to just be good. Yeah, and then they score the only shorthanded goal by a rookie in a serious clinching game. Ooh. And then just take off and is amazing and has a huge package. This is in top five in just about all statistics in Sabres history. It's not bad. Yeah. Sean, I don't know if you've mentioned your jersey. Uh, I think I have like twelve. I think that's an auto, but I got a I got a, a good story about my Vikings jerseys. All my purple Vikings jerseys, within a year or two after I got everyone, they all left the team. <laughs> Adrian Peterson got a Peterson jersey. He's gone. He left two years after I got the jersey. Blair Walsh, they cut him the year I got the jersey. Jared Allen, they got rid of him after I got my jersey the season after and Stefan Diggs. I got it for Thank Christmas you. two years ago and then he's gone now too. Like the only Vikings jersey that I have that is still good is my white Harrison Smith jersey, which I'd never wear because I don't want to wear a white jersey because I'll get dirty. Other than that, it's all like over it. all my Vikings jerseys that are purple are Ricky, didn't white. you have the same curse with Cody Hodgson and Ristolainen? Uh, no, Risto, I wasn't, Risto, I got jersey, and then he was, uh, in that weird holdout. Well, I mean, we still that he still have him, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, he came back, but Hodgson, yeah, Hodgson, he, uh, I got his jersey. He had a really good game, a couple games. I know that, uh, I was there for one of them, and then he just disappeared, but he's got, like, some goofy disease, doesn't he? I thought that's what happened he's to him. He's that, got, like, 
the same one that um, was it Ryan Callahan just had to retire for for his neck injury. He had like something going on. Yeah. yeah, something right like there, that. Jake? Yeah, you guys all froze on me. Oh yeah, I saw you. That too. You were froze for us. Sean I'm like, back here what is going on? Was way up in the screen. I thought it was just Ricky, and then I noticed that Kyle wasn't moving, then Sean was moving. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but now, uh, yeah, Cody Hodgson, uh, he left like a year after I got his jersey. Mm, he's dying. He's got the degenerative muscle disease or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's got something going on. But then I mean, yeah, Sue, he's just been chasing money, so he's admitted to it though. Oh, yeah. That I can respect. Yeah, still yeah, the greatest defensive end in football history, you know. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Sean's frozen again. Oh, no. No, I was just <laughs> making a face. Nah, he's just making a face. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got – how many Sabres jerseys do I have? Uh, one, two – I got four Sabres jerseys, and one of them's got my name on it, but – you I played got... for the Sabres? Yeah. <laughs> Holy Number crap. Two. That's awesome. My favorite jersey story. <laughs> is that retired? Yeah. My favorite jersey story is a friend of mine. I will not say his name. He worked for a cable company, and while he was installing cable, stole a Jill Bear Perot jersey. What? I mean, you told me. Wow. Me what an A. What a, what a dick move. Man. I, mean, I, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, Kyle, you know him pretty well. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so I thought it was. I Sends remember that chat. jersey. Yes. <laughs> I remember that jersey. Yeah. That, that, that doesn't funny. show. His the... rebuttal was uh, he had a lot of other jerseys. He wouldn't notice it. I okay. could probably do that to mine right now, and I wouldn't notice all of them. I would sit there and just stare and be like, I thought I had it. Right, I but I have so many I somebody borrow it? that I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like the framed ones; those are pretty cool. Yeah, I, mean, I honestly want to get them all signed, but now it'd be super difficult without them playing. And I would love to just basically make a wall of them. Just show up at his house with a marker. Sign these in, in New Jersey. <laughs> Stand outside of the boombox. I love you. Hello. <laughs> you got to go up to Montreal. Yeah, can't go do that right Quebec. now. Man. Yeah. The province of De Quebec. He leaves up there. I'm gonna have to hunt him down. Yeah. All right. That's so cool. I have a question. Uh, what's everybody's favorite jersey that they have? I have a Weeks jersey that I wore when we won the championship. I think. Pretty cool jersey. Not gonna know. lie. You got a. But yeah, this is a championship shirt. It's hard to read. I, I don't have a lot of jerseys. So. So your favorite have... jersey is the one you wore when you won that T-shirt. I don't know. Sure, why not? Go fuck yourself. Why? I have a jersey with actually the name Rolls on it. It's just like you do with the weeks on it. And we have a trophy, a legit trophy from winning the championship of it. That is a good one. That one is all kinds is that, of messed up now, though. Is that, oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's 24 years old. Like. Is that the, the all kit one? Yeah. yeah, is the yellow and orange? Yeah, something like that. Some yellow and maroon. That's a, that is, okay, that's, that's now my favorite jersey. Don't change it because I said it. Yep, that's, that's yep. No, no very backseat. convincing, Jake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I also have a, um, a jersey. It's finest. I have that blue jersey. That's that's just a nice jersey that I earned the name on the back. That's yeah, also yeah. my favorite jersey. I like that one actually. Yeah. It's thick. It's very thick. Yeah, that was that was the one bad part about it. And I burned it ironing the numbers on yeah. one side. Uh, the other side was good though. I learned. I learned how to do it better. Uh, so now that I've given you guys enough time to think, what's your guys' favorite jerseys? My Palmanville 40th anniversary jersey. That's a fucking sweet jersey for sure. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite that I have. Like I said, the favorite that's probably in the household is the Zach Parise USA jersey because I just I love those USA jerseys. I wish I could get one sure. of Palmanville. Is he declared Canadian? a USA citizen then to allow to play for them? Uh, he has dual citizenship where he, if he made the national roster, which he never did, he would have played for USA. Yeah, they got the Bills jersey all made up for him. You don't want that what? one? No. What? 
They made it. They made the Bills jersey for the for USA time. Canada World Juniors tournament oh. three years ago. Twenty eighteen. Yeah, three yeah, years so... ago. Um, it was in the Bills Stadium, and they Ooh. had Bills themed jerseys, and they had a couple Saber players, even though they weren't even playing in the game. They just had a couple of savers. Like, I think they had Eichel and they had Pominville. Yeah. yeah Pominville Team USA <laughs> jersey, which he played for Canada. Was but he would have played for USA due to his dual citizenship, but he never made those teams mm. because he was only good and not great. But he was good for a very long time. Longevity. Yep. What do you guys do with your jerseys? Just look at them? Well, I like to get naked and then wear it around the house. We're not naked if you're wearing a jersey. But I, I get what you Sometimes mean. Sometimes put them on upside down. You can have pants jerseys on while you have the other one. Ooh. I'll put it like over the back of a chair and then put like a balloon with a face on it and then jerk off onto it. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Rewind That's time, we rewind just, time. We just, we just guessed Kyle's porn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Alicia, get the balloons. We need to share them with Jake. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway. She draws the best faces. <laughs> so you, so you, just, you just walk around with them on? Do you make sure to give them, give all your jerseys equal wearing time? <laughs> I tuck it. I tuck my dick and Put the lotion on his skin or else it gets the hose again. This is a vulgar episode. Oof. Oof. Well, Oof. you can expect this episode to take some time to edit. <laughs> ah, you leave this shit. Don't worry yeah. about it. Yeah, PG-13. It's his account of Nobody lies. watches it anyways. I don't know NC-17, where it NC-17. I got to put an A disclaimer in this one. Isn't that? Silence of the Lamb references all throughout it. No, that's the norm. Never mind. I don't think I have a favorite. I don't know if I could pick. I don't know if I could pick a favorite jersey. It may be my Owen Nolan one because it's a. It's not his All Star jersey, but it's from the year that they played the All Star game in San Jose when he did the called shot. So it's got the patch on it. Oh no way! That's pretty um, cool. I like. I like. That's something I've always enjoyed about jerseys and stuff. Are like patches, like college jerseys going to bowl games or playing in the conference title game. You get the patch on them. Um, yeah, that's I don't know. Maybe I don't think I could actually pick like a favorite one. I, have See, a lot. I don't not, think I could pick a favorite one. I don't think I'll ever get a college jersey. No, that just doesn't seem exciting to me. Maybe because Michigan sucks. Sean's very purple. He's very purple. It's a TV. He froze. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, jerseys. Picking a favorite jersey is tough. Do you only have a one? Owen Olin jersey? Uh, no. Well, I have that one's done up. Uh, I have the the number and name plate for a blank shark that I have for him that I haven't just put on. I ordered them off of eBay, and then I also have a autographed. Uh, it's his team Canada jersey. That'd from, be really cool. Yeah, I have that autographed. Um, yeah, so I got technically three. One's not put together though. I wish my first name rhymed with my last name. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Sean, what's your favorite jersey? Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's a tough one for me. I mean, I love... <laughs> <laughs> I know Nolan. Nolan North is a voice actor. Uh, and then there's Chris Nolan. Apparently, what are you, why are you talking? I don't know. I'm just talking because you guys aren't talking. I'm just, I can't okay. help but laugh when Ricky just starts squealing like that. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was fucking funny. All right, Sean, what's your favorite jersey? <laughs> I mean, uh, I'd probably have to say my pet LaFontaine jersey. It's just pretty cool. Not even the jersey with your own last name on it. I mean, that when is the- nice. But From the time you played with the Sabres? Lafontaine. The time you played with the Sabres, even when you weren't on the bench. Yeah. Lafontaine, yeah. you know, was my favorite player growing up. So, and it was cool to meet him. So, it was 
I got a USA jersey with him on it. <clears throat> oh, yeah? That's cool. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, do, you have, think... do you have jersey questions? Um, yeah, I'm mostly just curious about, like, um, when I said what, what constitutes you buying a jersey, I meant, like, personally, what are the, the standards that somebody has to meet? Or is it just, hey, there's a jersey for sale. Do I like that that character in that in that well, sport? Yeah, I mean, favorite player, yeah, yeah it would just have sure. to be that. Or, I mean, uh, one of my favorite bands, Rise Against, came out with their own hockey jerseys that were very limited. So I bought one of those because it was sweet looking and it was limited. So, like, all right, that'll be worth it. So um, that's kind of, I mean, just favorite players, really. Yep. I don't buy, like, I mean, even right now with the Sabres, I don't really have a favorite player. When they made that that 50th anniversary gold jersey, like, I love that jersey. I don't want to get a blank one because I really don't enjoy blank jerseys, but I can't really think of a player that I want on it. So I'm kind of yep. stuck with just not getting one. But the best thing about that is with it being the 50th anniversary, so you could get anybody in the entire franchise. You can get a hash and it'd be okay. Yeah, right. You get a lot of Fontaine. That's to me, like, uh, that's kind of where I'm at with Palmville being retired. And I just don't have a favorite player anymore where, like, now it's, well, for one, to finish my collection. And for two, it would just, it'd probably be somebody in their past, like a La Fontaine or a McGillney or something like that. Like, <clears throat> get one of the, the legends. Yep. I think oh, yeah. that's, that's what it is. But I have gotten jerseys just because they're on sale. I have a Jordan Leopold jersey. For no reason at all, because it was on sale. Yeah. So you can you put a balloon. <laughs> Never mind. Uh... It was cheap. It was cheap. It was cheap. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Anyways, um, so no. if oh sorry, go on. No, go ahead. No, I was going to completely change directions. Oh okay. Uh, so keeping on this hockey or this jersey uh, tangent. Uh, what's one that everybody wants to get? Like that's like in their must-have. They gotta have that one. That's their next one. They gotta do. I want to get a Ginty Sabres jersey. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Good luck. It's one. Of one. <laughs> <Put a balloon. laughs> Alex. Oh, oh my no god. Chin, no chin. No Stop chin. It. Stop <laughs> it. Stop <laughs> it. I saw. Stop it. Oh my god. How they know? Stop it. Nope. There's nope. uh, there's two that I think about the most. I want to get a, uh, Hashik black goat head jersey. That's one that I need to get. I bought one off of eBay, and it turned out to be a really really bad knockoff. So I got rid of it. it sucked. Um, then the other one would be a. I'm probably gonna have to do a custom one because they never really sold it. But it's a um. Uh, when Sue was playing for Nebraska, they had a throwback uniform. It looked super cool with like retro numbers on it, different color. <laughs> so, <laughs> you good, Kyle? Yeah. I just like. <laughs> I was making an ungodly noise. I didn't want the public to hear. Okay. So uh, that's that's the uh, the only other one that I can really think of that I super want to get. I didn't want to make an ungodly noise, so I made an ungodly face. <laughs> yeah. Oh, balloon face. Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> um, if I could have one, it'd probably be the the Winter Classic, uh, Palmville. Ooh, that's two thousand eight, cool. actually. I said two thousand six. It's two thousand eight. That was the first winter like pond game, right? Second, technically, yeah. Really? What was the first? Second oh. professional. That'd be well. No, that'd be the third one. Third, yeah, the Heritage Classic. You, yeah, well, yeah. If you count the outdoor game, I don't count the, the preseason. The ninety-four one in Vegas. You don't count that. Yeah, I don't count that. Just preseason. All right, so yeah, second one. Then if you don't count that, yeah. third if you do. Because I mean, you didn't even have Gretzky playing in it. It was Kings versus Rangers, and you didn't even have like any big names in it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, I count it as the second <clears throat> regular season, but uh, first American. Yep. Regular season. Leave it. Um, yeah, that'd be the one because that's the one I'm having the hardest time finding, mainly because of the patch. You know, the oh, patch yeah. getting jerseys with patches are tough to get because those are the original cells. So that that'd be that'd be the one I'd probably if I could have one, that'd be the one I'd want. That's that's a pretty cool one. It is. I was there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, you were. 
I have cool. pictures to prove it, so I'm not just one of those idiots. Like, there's there's been five million fans that have been at the comeback game for the B- the Bills <laughs> Oilers game. Yeah, I have I was picture, there. Picture proof. Yeah, yeah, we were there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So was I. <laughs> yep. I always hate those like the memorable games. Like, hey, I was there. I was there. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, it was all. Oh, yeah, my sister. Like, there was a coworker of ours that. I'm not going to name names here. They would say it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, my sister, we climbed the fence and we got back in. I like, no, you didn't. You can't even say, bend over to pick up a paper. They, they didn't. My Uncle Toad was there and he left. And then he was in his car and heard him come back. And they were like, let's go climb the fence. He's like, we can't get over the fence. <laughs> See, your Uncle Toad has the same story as everybody now. Yeah. There was a busy fence. I was there. It was busy. crazy. There was like... Yeah. I'm not trying to imply anything. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Sean? What's your most coveted jersey? Uh, probably the one I really want to get is I do want a purple Kyle Rudolph jersey. I want that one for a long time. I almost had it, and it never made it. I have one more jersey that I want. It just popped in my head. I don't know why I didn't think of this early. Is I want a 1980 Ramsey USA jersey. That's That'd cool be one. easy to get off of like eBay. eBay's got tons of those. It's just super expensive. Yeah, like that's why I haven't got the hatch one. I got hatch on there, but he's like two two twenty. That's the cheapest one they got. Yeah. Maybe I'd, maybe my most coveted is the most expensive jersey then. Just so I can make some money. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't know if this is a whole topic or what, but uh. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on numbers in sports, or do do you want to save that for another day? What do you mean by numbers? What do you mean by numbers? Like, what would your number be if you were on a team? Do people do you think the athletes take their numbers seriously, or just like it's just a number, man? Very. Or yeah, some do, some don't. I mean, oh, to... Absolutely, they take it seriously. Mm-hmm. Hundred uh, percent. There was a Sabres incident where. One of their top four goal scorers in NHL Sabres history, Dave Andrzejczyk, he was number 26 for his entire tenure in uh, Buffalo. Went to another team. Long story short, he came back, and he wanted number 26 back. Well, Verada was 26, yep. and he would not give up 26. So he had to be 62. And a lot of times, players will buy numbers. They will literally spend money to buy the mm-hmm. numbers. But also, if you're a rookie, you kind of get what they give you for a lot of for a lot of times. If you're like the number one overall pick, you can't. You probably like Josh Allen. He he was able to pick 17. Um, but if Josh Allen was a seventh round pick or an undrafted free agent, they probably wouldn't care. They'd be like, "Here's your number." Is it just for like brand continuity that they're like, "I want to have a, a good brand so that people buy my merchandise," and this number is heavily associated with me. Uh, probably a number they had for their whole year, their yeah, whole career. A lot of whatever. guys like the ones that they use throughout their entire playing career through high school, college. Yeah. It's a number that resonates with them. Could be something to do with like a family oriented number. Favorite Dan, player. Yeah. Dan Marino was number thirteen because he, uh, the first sport he played was little league baseball. That was the first number he got in Little League Baseball. His dad was a coach, so he was 13, and then he was number 13 for the rest of his life, everything he did. That's so, a lot of these numbers they got when they were kids, and they just kept it. Yep. Okay. And whether like, they picked that number because that was their favorite player back then or it was just a number that was given to them. But a lot of times they like to have that continuity of keeping the same number. I do remember my first number. So. 28. Yep. yep. <laughs> what was yours, Jake? 29. I figured, yeah. <laughs> that was uh i think that was around the time the sabers were good so it was like a goose number it's right after him being good what that was right after uh, well, we won the championship in 2008 and basically they've been non-existent since 2007 so fair enough we were That's their still. downfall we were their <laughs> jinx kyle Oh yeah, I put a curse on him, just like Sean got cursed oh. with his purple jerseys. It's purple jersey. Yep. Okay. That was a surprisingly short conversation. All right. Uh, any other jersey conversations? Uh, no? I think I think we're all right. What do you guys think, though? We're a little over an hour in. Yeah, I think it's do you want to call it? Stop? 
All right. Well, thank you for watching Beer League Bench Warmers. I don't have any.